Well, we will get started here, and we'll start with Nate Taylor. Go ahead, Nate. Hey, Ty. I hope you're doing well, man. Hey. Um, just wanted to ask you, re-watching the film of uh, Sunday's game, um, what frustrated you the most, and where do you think you guys can improve when you know you got guys like, you know, obviously the collection of weapons that the Tampa Bay Bucks present? Yeah, I thought, uh, obviously, I didn't think we did a great job tackling uh, early on in the game. Uh, it was a lot of third downs um, that we just couldn't get off the field, missed tackles, uh, miscommunication. Um, and it's little things, but they're important things. And I think if we can continue to to harp on those things and continue to make those things important, I think we'll be fine. You know, I, I don't think we feel the best right now, especially defensively, you know, especially with these last two games. We got another good football team. You know, we got to play this week. So we got to turn the page and really, you know, find a way to continue to commit to each other. Go next to Sam McDowell. Go ahead, Sam. Hey, Tyron. Um, I hey. have two things for you, just one at a time. Uh, where, how would you say just this group is feeling mentally? Where are you guys as a defense mentally right now? Well, like I said, mentally, you know, we're kind of upset, you know, with the last, you know, two outings we've had. Um, I wouldn't say that we're down. I think, you know, we, we've kind of been in these situations before, uh, the kind of situations where you have to lean on each other. You know what I mean? You have to take the coaching. And you got to find a way to get better. Um, and I think we got the right kind of guys in our room. Uh, obviously, it's been a kind of rough, you know, couple of weeks for us defensively. Um, but I know we got the kind of guys that can turn it around. Um, and that's the only thing that matters. As long as we continue to look each other in the eyes um, and commit to each other, um, I think we'll be able to, to get back to, to playing the kind of defense our coaches, you know, really want. And then when you look at Tom Brady on film, what are you seeing? I mean, I, I, I see the greatest quarterback of, of all time, you know, um, you know, obviously we have Patrick, but, you know, um, I, I think you can't take anything away from Tom Brady. Um, he's still very smart. Um, he's still trying to throw the ball down the field. And then he has all the weapons, you know, that, that any quarterback can ask for. So, you know, we'll have our hands full with him. Um, obviously, you know, he, he's played against our system a bunch of times, you know, going back with Spags and, you know, even playing him last year in uh, New England. So he's familiar with us. Uh, we, we have to get familiar with him uh, and, and the new weapons that he have. Let's go next to Steve Walls. Go ahead, Steve. Hey, what's happening, T? Uh, hey, what's up? How much? Uh, it seems like Chiefs fans want you guys to always play perfect uh, with the ups and downs of the season. Is that expectation too high? And uh, how do you guys develop consistency within within your unit? And Brad, I'll have a follow up after this. Well, you know, I think that's what we're doing. We're trying to chase perfection. You know, I don't think it's always going to be like that. You know, obviously every football game won't be a blowout. Every football game, you know, won't be a dominant defensive performance. Um, but I think mostly, you know, what our fans should be able to see is us playing hard, you know, us, you know, sticking together. Um, and I think those two uh, are some of the two most important things is, is playing as hard as you can, no matter what. Um, and then sticking together, no matter what, whether we're up by 50, whether we're down by 50, um, it's all about us staying together. And, and uh, I know you're in full game prep, but with Thanksgiving being tomorrow, uh, I know besides practice, what's Thanksgiving going to look like in the Matthew household? Oh, man, I'm going to try to, I'm gonna try to stuff my face. Uh, so pretty sure my fiance going to cook it up. Uh, she loves to cook. Um, and uh, so I'm enjoying my kids. Uh, you know, so thankful for them. Uh, so thankful for my fiance, you know, my teammates really everybody around me, you know, uh, just try my best to, you know, enjoy the people around me, enjoy the moments, uh, and then make the most of life. So just thankful for a lot right now, but most importantly, thankful for my kids and my family. Go next to Matt McMullen. Go ahead, Matt. Hey, Tyron. Uh, speaking hey. of Thanksgiving, uh, you passed out 500 turkeys to uh, families in need uh, earlier this week. Why'd you want to do that? Well, I think that's just, you know, who I am and that's what I'm all about. And, you know, I think, you know, everything that's happened this year, I think a lot of people need that lending hand. I think a lot of people need support. They need help. They need encouragement. Um, they need to see some some kind of positivity. Um, and I think that's really what the Tyron Matthew Foundation is about is, you know, how can we reach people that are, you know, seem sometimes unreachable, you know? So I'm hoping that, you know, all those families are able to really enjoy the holidays, enjoy Thanksgiving, you know, and then enjoy, you know, each other as well. Let's go next to Herbie T.O.P. Go ahead, Herbie. Hey, Ty, you've been through a torn ACL before, um, and obviously you've, you, you've been able to recover from that. But what, how, what, what kind of advice are you giving Juan uh, as we are into the second half of the season to find that balance between um, making sure your body is right versus the competitive desire to be on the field? Yeah, I've, you know, it's, it's unfortunate. You know, I've been, I've been through an ACL twice, you know, um, and, and the biggest thing I can tell him is patience. 
you know, it's to continue to take it slow. I, I remember when I went through my ACL, it wasn't until maybe a year, two years after until I really began to, to feel like myself again. And I think everybody's body is different. Um, but I think the most important thing we all have to kind of understand is that patience. You know, um, it's going to take some time to get there. Um, and it'll be a lot of expectations from other people outside of you who want you to, you know, reach your destination, you know, quicker than, you know, possible. But just have to find a way to stay patient. You have to find a way to to balance your mind um, and, and then just just find a way to continue to love the game. I think when we go through rough patches, you know, we kind of start to lose love for the game. Um, but we could just keep our heart in the game. I think everything will work out for us, you know, uh, in due time. Got time for a few more. We'll go Pete, Sarah, and then Adam. Go ahead, Pete. Hey, Tyron, I wanted to ask hey. you this last week, and, and I didn't have an opportunity. The organization chose to bring on DeAndre Baker, who has obviously the interesting off-the-field stuff. Um, how much do you feel that Brett Beach and the organization turns to you to sort of guide and take someone like that under under your wing, given some of your past things? And how much do you relish that type of opportunity? I mean, that's part of the reason I came here to, you know, be around some young guys that, that really can learn from me. You know, obviously, I've been through a, a lot of life challenges, a lot of, you know, different circumstances. Um, and, you know, I've actually reached out to him, you know, be, be right before he actually got here. And I just kind of told him that I always be in his corner, you know, I always be that shoulder that he can lean on. And, you know, I think that's the most important thing, you know, especially when people are coming to new environments is they're just trying to find one person they can lean on, one person they can talk to, one person that can get them comfortable. And, you know, hopefully I'm able to do that for him. Um, you know, just seeing him practice today, uh, the kid got some talent. You could tell he knows football a little bit. And um, so it's all about us just making sure, keeping his head right. Um, and then the football will take care of himself. Go next to Sarah Walsh. Go ahead, Sarah. Hey, uh, you came into the league with, uh, you know, Bruce, obviously, and Todd Bowles well. What did you learn from your time with those guys? Uh, uh, I mean, Bruce Aaron is a straight shooter. Uh, I love him. You know, he, he was actually the guy that took a chance on me and drafted me and, you know, really, really believed in me, you know, from day one. And, you know, he's, he'll always be one of my favorite coaches. And, you know, I think Todd Bowles helped me out so much. Um, he's so smart. And I think me coming into the NFL, you know, being able to play multiple positions. Uh, I really feel like he helped me out a lot early on in my career. Um, so just looking forward to seeing those guys this weekend, uh, hopefully, you know, play my best game and, um, you know, get a win. We'll go last to Adam Teicher. Go ahead, Adam. Hey, Tyron, I also had a Juan Thornhill question. Just how he's doing physically, do you feel like, and, and how he's maybe accepting at least what for now is a little bit of a lesser role? Yeah, I think, you know, he's continuing to, to get better uh, and better physically. Uh, I think mentally, you know, Juan is a competitor. I think he had a lot of success, you know, last year as a rookie. I think he really helped our defense out a lot. And so for him, you know, obviously, you know, it's a challenge to, to, um, to, to, to begin a new role, a lesser role, um, to not be on the field as much. But he's still the same guy. You know, he, he's still uh, becoming a leader for us. Um, he's still, uh, you know, very vocal, you know, on the field, on the sideline, in the meeting rooms. And I think that's all you could really ask for, you know, um, from a guy like that. Um, going through what he's going through, you know, he still has the same smile. He still has the same heart. Um, so I know that, you know, the football will take care of itself in due time. Um, it's all about us continuing to encourage him, you know, continuing to motivate him, continuing to, you know, make him feel like we really believe in him and which we do. So um, I think he'll be fine going forward, uh, but it's going to take the group to kind of rally around him and continue to push him.